Lying just off the coast of Africa, Tenerife is about a four-hour flight from northern Europe. Sunny and warm all the year round, it's perfect for, yep, golf. Well, here we are in Tenerife at the fourth International Obama Pro-Am. It's a sort of modified Texas scramble format where everybody has to hit four drives. If they take your drive, then you can't hit a second. So on a par three, if you stiff it, you don't get the thrill of knocking in the putt. It seems to work very well. It just the right balance between relaxed golf and a bit of tension because getting those four drives out of the way is a bit nerve-wracking for the higher handicappers. Doesn't affect me, of course, but for the others. And let's hope my swing is as coordinated as my outfit. So as you know, the Texas scramble format, you only play the one ball. So the guy who's hit the drive, in this case, it was Alan, he's not allowed to play the second. So the other three, me and my two playing partners, we hit the second shot. And now we can all putt. Let's hope one of us holds it. Yes. yes. <laughs> what a putt. Obama is simply the best there is in Tenerife. Of the nine on the island, I'd say it's the most challenging course. The course climbs for the first few holes and you have to take a buggy. Believe me, it's not one you'd want to walk. Mind you, I did jog one evening right up to the fifth green and back. That meant climbing a thousand feet. And without oxygen. The course tumbles down to the ninth. And then at the tenth, there's a great view. The Terracotta Moorish style hotel is surely one of the most striking in Europe. And it's every bit as impressive on the inside. All in all, the Obama Golf and Spa Resort is a glorious oasis that treats you like a star, even if you don't play like one. Right, you've seen Obama. What a wonderful course. And there's that magnificent hotel. But it's not the only course in Tenerife. There are loads of others. Some of them are quite superb. I tell you what, let's go and have a look at them now. Golf Costa Adeki is barely a 15 minute drive from Obama. As you'd expect of a course carved through a banana plantation, it's easy to slip up. Wonderful ocean views provide breathtaking backdrops, but little, it would seem, between the greens and oblivion. La Gomera is an island just to the south of Tenerife. As luck would have it, there's a stunning golf course there. Take the ferry, stay for a day, or longer. Grab a lift in a buggy up the mountainside to the first tee, and then enjoy the spectacular views as you wind your way back down. Lovingly maintained and with glorious floral displays, it's possibly the prettiest course in the Canaries. Back on the mainland, if you can call an island the mainland, Gulf Las Americas offers masses of beautiful flowers, gorgeous water features, generous fairways and super smooth greens. Tenerife is quite sophisticated with lots of fine dining and elegant shops to browse. There's a host of superb accommodation to choose from. Getting back to the goal. If you want to take on a course that grooves to a completely different beat, you must try the remarkable 27 holes at Golf del Sur. 
This has the wow factor in abundance. With striking black sand bunkers, deep cavernous Barranco and Mount Tide almost always in view, Golf del Sur offers about as much excitement as you can handle. There's always a bird or two hanging about, but strangely, no canaries. Amarilla Golf Course is on the southern coast, squeezed between the Atlantic and Mount Tide, and enjoys great views of both. It skirts a cliff edge, and more balls are lost on the front nine in a day than there are shrimps in a giant paella. Away from golf, Tenerife has plenty to offer, especially those with a head for heights. Mount Tide is the third largest volcano in the world. Don't worry, it's more than 200 years since the last eruption and none of the volcanoes on the Canaries is thought to pose any imminent threat. Take a trip up Mount Tide and enjoy the weird and wonderful landscape that surrounds the main peak. The views are spectacular, but take a sweater as the temperature drops while you rise. Feeling adventurous? The road over the mountains to the northwest of the island takes you to one of Seve's lovely legacies, Buena Vista Golf Club, one of the very best on the island. It's certainly worth the effort it takes to get there. There's a motorway from Los Cristianos, but if you have the time and the nerve, Take the mountain route. Buena Vista is magnificent. Situated on a wonderfully rugged stretch of coastline where the wind and waves are constant companions, it's an invigorating course and truly elemental. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your trip around Tenerife. You've seen some wonderful wildlife some great golf courses and I hope you've really enjoyed it because Tenerife is a superb place it's it's a year-round golf destination the weather is almost always perfect for golf anyway so from all of us here at Golf Passport have fun <laughs>